It doesn't matter where you live, Oktoberfest is always a crowd pleaser. So today I took a trip to Snowbird's Oktoberfest and I'm gonna give you the lowdown on it, what to expect, what to watch out for, and kind of my overall feeling, so stay tuned. Hi, this is Melissa Ballman and I'm a real estate agent here in the greater Salt Lake City area. So what that means, if you're looking at making a real estate move, I'd love to connect with you. Shoot me a text, send me an email, do what you gotta do, but get in touch with me. But first today, I'm talking about Snowbird's Oktoberfest here in Salt Lake City. And believe it or not, I have lived here since 2002 and this was the first year I've ever attended Oktoberfest. So I'm gonna take, give you some takeaways on what to expect and what to watch out for. So first things first, Oktoberfest at Snowbird typically runs sometime in August, mid to end of August they start. And this year they're ending October 17th. So plan on about mid-October year to year um, for Oktoberfest. And it runs on Saturdays and Sundays. This year it's noon to 6 p.m. And we went up there on a Sunday afternoon. We got up there before Oktoberfest started because we kind of wanted to miss traffic. And boy, stay tuned because that was a doozy. Um, but we paid to park at Snowbird. We got there about 11.15 and already the first parking lot closest to the entrance was almost all the way full. Um, you do have to pay $10 to park at Snowbird, but well worth it. And um, when we got there, we bought tickets immediately. Now, that is the one thing. Oktoberfest is never cheap, but I was shocked at how expensive it really was. I did not drink alcohol, and it still cost me about $80 for just me and I'm gonna break that down a little bit here throughout the video but if you have children that are attending with you they do have activities that they can do like the alpine coaster and slide and trampolines if you have little little kids probably not the best place to take them simply because like I saw a woman trying to get up and down the stairs with a two-seater stroller and she really struggled um, it was very, very crowded, even for a Sunday by three o'clock when we left. It almost felt like you were in a mosh pit compared to Oktoberfest. People were just crowded in there. So given the time, if social distancing is important to you, you can pretty much count on not having any at this event. Um, I've saw very few people wearing masks. You know, you're outside and just everybody's out there. So um, if you tend to not want to be in crowds with COVID and you know germs and things like that, um, you may not be ready to go back to Oktoberfest yet. Now, I feel like we got one of the best weekends to go weather-wise. It was absolutely beautiful. The colors were popping everywhere you went. It was just amazing and one thing to caution yourself on if you're not familiar with the canyons you cannot bring your dogs to oktoberfest it is a watershed up the canyon so no dogs are allowed up there unless they're service dogs search and rescue or you live in town the town of alta and you have the proper permitting or whatever it is that they need so um, beautiful weather, great grassy areas to sit and hang out, but no dogs. Okay, so let's get down to cost. Super expensive, like I said. Um, just a single bratwurst a la carte, $11.50. Um, I did not drink, but somebody that I was with did and purchased the refillable mug. And this mug here, was $34 to fill. Now, I don't know what the refill price is. That's the benefit of um, getting the refillable mug is you don't pay as much the next time. When we went to purchase the gondola ride, it was $30 for a single ride, 36 for unlimited. Um, I had 
my kids there with me. So I bought the pass that they could do the Alpine slide and everything unlimited for the day. And it was about $56 each for that. And um, they didn't really honestly participate in much because the lines took so long that it was, you know, by the time we left at three o'clock, it was just too, too busy for them. Now, one of the cool things that I did was we did take the gondola up to the top as soon as we got there at 1115. Um, and it was very nice. It was not too crowded. You had some space in the gondola and it was nice because you had beautiful views as you'll see in the video. Um, you could see out to Heber City from one side. And we actually hiked a little bit and went down through the tunnel in Snowbird. I'm not a skier, so that was the first time I've ever seen the tunnel, which was really cool. Um, and honestly, I actually preferred to take the ski lift back down to Snowbird versus taking the gondola. So you have some options there of things to do. Now, the lines get very, very long. Um, my son went to buy a pretzel and he said the line was probably gonna take him about 45 minutes to an hour to get through. So he just got out of line and didn't even bother. Um, all of the beer tents have quite long lines. And um, I'm glad I went for the experience, but honestly, at the end of the day, if I don't go for another 19, 20 years, I'm okay with that. Um, so definitely something worth experiencing, but just know you're probably gonna spend about 80 to $100 per person, even with the kids. One thing that I really, really liked with them is um, I purchased a bottle of water uh, when we ate and the bottle of Aquafina water was $4.25, but they had water station in the, the main area. And that was fantastic because we could just refill our water bottles. My son brought a reusable water bottle. He was able to refill, no charge. People were filling up their reusable mugs and drinking water, which was fantastic. Now, one thing I was really kind of disappointed in was the shopping. And, um, you know, you, you anticipate having all the shops and things like that, cool things to see. And um, I've been to Heritage Place October, it's not October Fest, but um, kind of like their German festival. Much more cool shopping to do there than there was at October Fest. So hopefully that gets better with time, but if you're going just for the shopping and the knickknacks and stuff, I would definitely recommend heading down to This Is The Place and going to their German festival. So they do have the covered tent area with lots of tables for people to sit and eat. That's where they serve like the bratwurst and the German food. They have the, um, the stage where people are singing and people are up dancing that are not even part of Oktoberfest, just there to enjoy the festivities. Um, and so it's, it's fun to watch and interact with the people. Now, I know I said that there's not a lot of seating area, but um, it was honestly, it was really hard. We almost gave up even finding a, a place to sit at a picnic table under the tent. So um, just be prepared and be patient if you're going to Oktoberfest. If you are a drinker, like I said, they have the refillable mugs. They had smaller glasses too, so you didn't have to buy that big, huge mug. And I, I don't know the prices. If you're not a beer drinker, they did have White Claws, so more that seltzer type um, drink. So there's lots of things to do, but it was a nice atmosphere for just kind of chilling out. Be prepared with shoes. And I say that because I did not wear my exercise shoes. I just wore like a, a loafer style uh, sneaker slip on shoe. And my feet were killing me after three hours of walking and hiking. There's not a ton of places to sit down. So, or at least compared to the crowds, there's not a lot of places to find to sit down. You can sit out in the big grassy area. 
Um, there are tables and picnic benches and stuff, but compared to the crowd, it was very hard to find somewhere to sit. So be prepared with good shoes and know you're on your feet. Now, by the time we left at three o'clock, I was honestly just over the crowd. And so um, we left and boy was the traffic horrendous. So my son has worked up at Snowbird during snow or ski season for a few years. And he, when we were coming down, he said he has never seen the traffic that bad going to Snowbird. Um, when we were driving down the canyon, it was about 3.15, 3.30 by the time we were heading down. And honestly, I don't think those people towards the back of the line were ever going to make it towards uh, to Oktoberfest before they closed just because of the traffic just stopped. People were parked way down the canyon and hiking up. So if you're going to Oktoberfest, get there early. Like I said, I got there 45 minutes before it started and the parking lot was almost completely full. I hope you enjoyed my video today. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell. That way you're alerted each week when I drop a new video. And if you have anything to share your experiences, tips, tricks, anything like that with the group on Oktoberfest or really just things to do around Salt Lake City in the fall, be sure to comment below. We'd love to hear from other people and their experiences. Like I said, this was my first time going. Um, so there might be stuff that I missed that was different experience for others. But as always, make it a great day.